I have uh, two questions regarding the Union County Alliance. We give them approximately $270,000 a year or thereabouts. Uh, part of their contract is they're supposed to uh, produce newsletters for you. They're supposed to be doing four, uh, which are mailed to every home in uh, Union County. And they're also supposed to be uh, putting several more online. And they, they haven't been being put online. They don't have a website. so. If we're paying them to do this and they're not doing this, uh, I'd like an update on that contract. Who's monitoring that and are we going to get a refund for it? Uh, sticking to that, uh, this is your uh, spring edition, which came out right before uh, election day. And uh, there is Chairman Hudak, who is up for election. Very happy stuff. Walk about the newsletter. And it's interesting because uh, this was brought up. It was brought to my attention anyway. I was glad I came across this article. Uh, the Bergen County administrator pulled a similar newsletter because uh, it came to her attention that it might be against ELEC rules. And the election firm, the chairman of ELEC did weigh in on it and uh, he gave this as a hypothetical case of a mayor. Take the case where a newsletter is distributed by the municipality to residents in the weeks prior to primary or general election, but contains no direct for appeal for a vote. The newsletter, however, touts the goals and achievements of the mayor and has been consented to by the mayor. Are these ramifications to this course of action involving the Campaign Act? The simple answer is yes. So I will be writing the Philippus. What I wanted to ask you tonight, uh, for some reason I, I don't think I ever brought this to his attention, even though every time you do this I bring in and I talk about it, this costs $100,000 a year to mail. You do it twice, right before the general and primary election. It's always featuring whoever's up for election. And it does, does fit the criteria here. So I believe you've been doing this for about 10 years. So we're talking a million dollars. So if uh, somehow the taxpayers can get paid back by your campaigns for that, that would be great. My second question is, uh, has your county council ever weighed in on whether he thought this was against the rules? because the Bergen County Council did, and he decided, he advised that it was against the rules and that it should stop. So I'm wondering if your council has ever weighed in on it, yay or nay. So I think you can answer that question. And um, plus, this is gonna be coming out again, right before the election. And again, I will be writing to Eli. And I, you know, don't answer me, I'll just put that in the letter instead of whatever answer you wanna give me. Um, I hope everyone here is paying attention tonight to what was discussed. I, I've brought this up many times in the past. There's only certain things that we need county government for. You're supposed to do all that unhappy stuff that nobody can make a business out of, nobody can make money out of it. Certainly one of those things is running a jail. It's a basic public safety issue. And tonight we spoke about how you're financing a golf course, a banquet hall, you're building world-class facilities around the county. I'm not saying I'm against them, but this is the stuff that you want to be involved in, all the happy stuff. When you're supposed to be doing the stuff that we need you to do, the things, the, the things that the public needs you to do is like running a jail, running a courthouse. So you got rid of the hospital, now you're trying to cut corners at the jail. And I just hope people are paying attention to really the business of Union County. It's just, nothing happens in a vacuum here. You, just, you do have a lot of money and you have the ability to raise taxes, but there is a finite amount. So this, this is your leadership decision, to do happy stuff, to run banquet halls instead of jails. I'd like my questions answered about the line, so it's two questions. Do you need me to repeat them? Has your county council ever advised whether it was against ELEC? And who is paying attention to the alliance contract? And if they're not meeting the obligations, are you going to ask for a refund? Any other members of the public? Okay. 